just flung a round ball at one, so we'll see. She's dead down there. A deer around me all morning. Small little four point buck. I think I just heard her crash, so. Go get her out, clean her up. I'm actually gonna show you guys how uh, we started dry aging our deer. We put it in an old refrigerator I have for a week or two. Makes a huge difference in the tenderness and the taste, so. We'll keep down, see if we can find her, and get her cleaned up and get her in the fridge for uh, some dry aging. There she is. She hit this road, made a 90 degree turn. I couldn't find her. It took me forever. Oh yeah, good mature doe. Let me uh, get her out here. Okay guys, I got my, my venison here dry aging. I shot this doe on Saturday, it's Wednesday. I usually give it a, at least one week to dry age for you know younger deer. You can go up to two weeks for an older deer. And really the science behind it is that as an animal ages, um, when it's living, it builds up collagen in between its muscle fibers. And that collagen gets tough. So I'm sure you've, you've experienced yourself or heard other hunters say that if you kill a younger deer, it's usually tastier, more tender, where the older deer are uh, tougher to chew and, and don't taste as well. So really dry aging, what it does is allows the enzymes that are living in the meat to break down that collagen and tenderize the muscle fibers. Um, so really the secret is you don't want the deer to freeze and you don't want it to be too warm. You want a constant temperature between 32 degrees and 40 degrees just on the edge of freezing. Uh, to help avoid bacteria building up, but also to really allow those enzymes to work. And then I'll uh, come down about every day and just open up the door, let some fresh air in, get that stagnant air out, because you don't want bacteria to grow either. Um, another trick that we've used in the past is we have kind of this walk-in basement, um, and during the winter it usually stays above freezing but below 40, so it's a great environment to uh, dry age our meat or if you have like an outbuilding or a garage or, or a barn that during the day it's not gonna warm up above 40 and at night it's gonna stay below 32, that would work well. But this is just an old refrigerator, nothing special. Um, took the racks out, set, built this wooden hanging thing, uh, my custom rig, and then I hang the meat off of it and, and dry age it. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked my video. Um, hit the like button if you did. Leave a comment and also subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of hunting and fishing videos and I'm gonna try to do more educational based videos on, on things like dry aging or hunting techniques. Thanks a lot and have a good day.